Hello, this is Connie, and I've got a new series to bring to you. And um, also, I wanted to let you know that if you were wondering about me and about my situation, please take a look at Monday's uh, Makeup of the Day video. I did talk to you about stuff there, and I will keep you appraised. Otherwise, I want to thank everybody for your kind comments and how wonder you, wonderful you've been to me. Anyway, this is a new series, and what it's going to be is I still am, am really looking for a name for it. I'm not sure what I'm going to name it yet, and I would like your help with that. So if you would um, give me some, some ideas. What it is, is um, I am a, a voracious reader. I love to read. And I have got an ebook. Plus, I, I read hardcover also, but um, mostly I use my e-reader. Uh, but I mainly read either paranormal romance or urban fantasy books, which I absolutely love. I love everything: uh, Shifter and Werewolf and Vampire and Demon and Angel and. Uh, Gargoyle, dragons, you know, you name it. I mean, there's such a huge um, thing with that genre right now. Let me let me give you a little bit of background about my reading. First of all, when I was, um, you know, it before I even got to high school, I read a few books. Um, I read like, um, oh, the Hardy books, and the um, there's one that I read, one series that I read, and I, do you think I can think of what, it, Bobsy Twins, maybe, or something, but, anyway, um, I did read a little bit growing up, but in high school, my English teacher, um, which she is still alive today, um, her name is Mrs. Morris, she had us um, read a couple of books in, I think it was like my junior junior no I know it was my senior year of high school and the first book that I read was in Cold Blood by Truman Capote and that book has just stuck with me all these years I fell in love and I have read like I said voraciously ever since she got me my love of reading by showing me the right book that I could get into and, and love to read. And from there on, I really was into like horror books. I loved horror books. You name it. Stephen King was my favorite. Dean Koontz, that kind of stuff. And um, to age myself a little bit, in uh, 19, let me think here a second, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, I w went into a used bookstore in 19... 97 I believe it was 7 or 8 and asked for um, horror books about vampires and werewolves and stuff and she, she looked at me and she said have you ever read um, paranormal romance books and I'm going what? no I have not so she showed me to a um, an area of the bookstore and I am not kidding you, the whole paranormal romance was two authors. One had, I think, five books and one had two or three. And one of them was Nancy Gideon and the other one, um, A Ashley. Jennifer? No. Amanda, Amanda Ashley? Maybe? But, so I, I grabbed all of them. And that's all she wrote. I was in love. Um, now, now, I mean, you can get whole sections that are paranormal romance only, and there, you can't get all the books that are paranormal romance in that section. There's so many. But, I mean, everybody in, in God's Green Earth is writing paranormal romance, or, you know, because it's just so huge. But, which makes me very happy, because I have my pick and I can pick and choose what I want to read now. You know, back then it was, you know, just those few, and I read those so fast, and I reread them and reread them, you know, until 
it slowly started trickling in. And um, ever since then, that's all I read. Since 1998, that's all I've read is paranormal romance or urban fantasy. <clears throat> and the difference is paranormal romance is um, paranormals, be it vampires or werewolves or whatever. Um, and they have their, their, they find the woman that they want and it's, um, they, they fall in love right now and they fall into bed right now. And it's a lot of sex and a little bit of paranormal other stuff. In paranormal or urban fantasy, it's more about the other stuff with a little bit of sex. And that's my favorite. Um, I would rather read about, um, oh, the looking for bad guys, that kind of stuff, and then having a little bit of sex on the side, then I would be, you know, I meet you, I know you're mine, you're my mate, and fall into bed right now. I would rather do that, um, which these books have evolved a lot since then. It's a lot different from, you know, the uh, I meet you, I can't live without you type of thing anymore. So anyway, the first two books, I'm going to do two books a week. And I'm going to start with my favorite of all time series. And there were six books in the series, and I wish it would have went on forever because I absolutely love the series. And it is the Shifter series by Rachel Vincent. This is the first book, which is Stray. And I have read and reread and reread this book. Um, I don't have a lot of my, my paperback books anymore because, uh, like I said, I went to, I needed the space, so I went to um, e reader. But I have kept this one because this is my all time favorite. The second book in the series is Rogue. And the artwork on these, isn't the artwork just spectacular? I mean, artwork just draws me in, and I love the artwork on these two. But anyway, I'm going to tell you about these books today. And next week I'll tell you about the next two in the series, and so on and so forth. After I'm done with this series, then I'll go on to a new series. So I'm really hoping that somebody will like this, that somebody has read these, or I can convince you to read these. Now, I've looked about the author. I got, I went to her website and, and wrote down some stuff, and then I went to um, fiction, fan fiction, I think it's called, and wrote down some more things about them. And then plus there's um, the inside covers that I will read. So, um, the first book is Stray, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rachel first. Um, she was born in 1978, first of all. She was a native of the Dust Bowl. Rachel Vincent is the oldest of five siblings and arguably the most outspoken of the bunch. She loves cats, devours chocolate, and lives on flavored coffee. Rachel's older than she looks, seriously, and younger than she feels, but remains convinced that every day she spends writing, one more day will be added to her lifespan. Isn't that neat? And then here she is. This is Rachel. This is off of her website. See, she looks young there, doesn't she? And this says, Rachel Vinson is a former English teacher and an eager champion of the Oxford comma. She shares her home in Oklahoma with two cats, two teenagers, and her husband, who's been her number one fan from the start. Rachel is older than she looks and younger than she feels, and she remains convinced that writing about the things that scare her is the cheapest form of therapy. But social media is a close second. Okay, so that is Rachel. And I'm going to be talking about Shifters, her first novels. Okay. So it says here about the Shifters series. Her Shifters series. Complete... At six novels, the Shifter series was Rachel Vincent's debut and her first work for adults. The story follows Faith Sanders and the world's only female werecat enforcer. As she struggles to carve out her own position in the Pride's patriarchal society without neglecting the demands of her heart, the revolution is coming and Faith will be leading the charge. That's the first thing. 
Okay, and book one stray, it says, Begrudgingly re reunited with her family and her long-term ex, Faith Sanders becomes the world's first female enforcer and fights to take down a group of rogues who are trafficking female werecats. Now that's that's off of her website. The fan fiction website says there there are only eight breeding werecats left, and I'm one of them. I look like an all-American grad student, but I'm a werecat, a shape ship shape shifter, and I live in two worlds. Despite reservations from my family and my pride, I escaped the pressure to continue my species and carved out a normal life for myself until the night a stray, a stray attacked. I've been warned about strays, werecats without a pride, constantly on the lookout for someone like me, attractive, female, and fertile. I fought him off, but I learned two of my fellow tabbies had disappeared. The brush with danger was all my pride needed to summon me back. For my own protection, yeah, right. But I'm no meek kitty. I'll take on whatever and whoever I have in order to find my friends. Watch out, strays, because I got claws and I'm not afraid to use them. That is such a good book. Um, Stray is about Faith Sanders, like I said, and it starts out where she is in college. She's a grad student. She was allowed by her father, the alpha of the werecats, to... Um, move away and go to school but she had to hide her identity so nobody knew who she was um, and so she's at school and this this stray attacks her well unknown, unbeknownst to her she's been watched all these years while she was at school and um, but they had to stay far enough away so she couldn't smell them you know where cats have good smelling and um, so after the wear attacks, she finds out that Mark, that Mark is her ex, has been watching her or had somebody else watching her, and he takes her home because of this wear attack, because of the two missing females of their species. So that's where it starts. I don't want to get too far into it, but she does go home. Okay. So I'm going to just read off the back of this. I know I've read you about it before, but I'm going to read off the back of the book. There are only eight breeding female werecats left, and I'm one of them. Well, maybe this is the same thing. This is exactly the same thing as what, what I already read. So anyway, um, I've got this in it because I started rereading it again one night. Um, but it... I highly, highly recommend this series. Highly. Okay, let's go on to row number two in the book series. So let's tell you about, about Rogue first. That is this. Ah! Sorry about that. That is this book. Number two. And this was written... I don't know if it'll tell me when it was written. I should have wrote that down, but I didn't. Okay, anyway, book two is Rogue. Faith, Mark, and their fellow enforcers investigate a string of human murders that strike close to home. That's off of the site. Here is the what um, fan fiction says about it. I know that better than most. Since rejoining the Pride, I've made big decisions and even, ba even bigger mistakes the kind paid for with innocent lives. As the first and only female enforcer, I have plenty, of, plenty to prove to my father, the pride, and myself. And with murdered Toms turning up in our territory, I'm working harder than ever, though I always find the energy for a little after-hours recreation with Mark, my partner both on and off duty. So as you can tell, they um, reunited in, at the end of the first book. Um, here is a little bit okay it says my partner on and off duty that I just finished and then it goes on to say but not all of my mistakes are behind me we're beginning to suspect that the dead are connected to a rash of missing human women and that they can all be laid at my feet two or four 
take your pick. And one horrible indiscretion may yet cost me more than I can bear. And um, this book continues, I mean, each book in this series, you have to read one, two, three, four, or else you're not going to understand what's going on. Because what happens in the first book, com you know, um, is involved with ha what happens in the second book. So you have to read them in order. Now the second book is, it kind of draws to a conclusion um, something that happened in the first book. So it kind of goes on like that. So anyway, that is my first two books in the series. Now please um, give me some ideas for this series. It's about, like I said, it's going to be about um, reviewing two books in a series a week. Paranormal Romance and Urban Fantasy. And, um, you know, I thought I thought about calling it my Paranormal uh, Romance Obsession or something like that, but I just, you know, that's too close to my coloring book obsession that I'm going to be doing. So help me out and give me some ideas for some of these four titles. I'll name it something along the way, but... Um, I will take your uh, suggestions into consideration for sure. So anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, if you if you read paranormal romance or urban fantasy and have read these books, let me know what you think. If you're interested in these books, let me know what you think. So I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.